Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little Rudolph uh, with just punches from Stamping Up. What you need for this project, I'm just going to show you how to make the Rudolph, not the card, but what you need for him is you need one ornament punch, one of the tag punches, one of the owl punches, my favorite, and a bird punch. And what you have to punch out is two branches from the bird punch in brown, one tag punch in brown, one ornament punch in brown, one of the owl's bodies in brown, one of the owl's round circles, large in red for the nose, two of the medium circles on the owl punch in black, and two of the medium uh, circles from the owl punch in white and then the itsy bitsy tiny uh, circles from the owl punch in black and what you're going to start with is you're going to have to cut off the little legs of your owl's body to make the head for Rudolph so you snip those off and discard the rest. You got the head right there. Oh, I forgot you also, of course, need a glue pen. And then I have this um, stamping up right, the um, soft suede for his mouth that I drew on. And I also stamped his body with some of the confetti stamps, but you can leave that off. You don't have to stamp his body. I did because I, I thought it was cute. And the first thing you're going to do is with this tag punch, you cut it in you cut it in half. You only need one side of it. You don't need both sides. So keep the longest side, cut it in quarter. And you're going to use the bottom part of that for his little hoofs. And now you want to make it look like legs. So I start about uh, where the round part is about a quarter inch up and I cut and I cut at an angle and I go along and cut it kind of in, in a round angle so to make it look like a little leg just like that. It doesn't look like a leg yet but it will once it sits under his body. You're also going to do that with the other side. And once you have made it once, it goes real quickly. Leave the round parts on the outside of his body. And then the hardest part really is now to cut the antlers out. And what you're going to do is you start at the tip of the leaf and you like like you would cut it in half but you go at an angle again and you kind of make a round motion while you're cutting and try to come out at the branch and snip it off and this is how they're going to look like and you do this with all of them so it looks like antlers and not leaves and I turn it over and the branch also is too long so you have to snip some of that off so you can fit it under his head and the last the top and you go same way you're gonna go a little bit at an angle there you go, there you got one. Now we're going to do the other one as well. And you got to go right at the tip, follow and go like in a half moon circle and meet at the branch and nip it off. Same thing with this. And once you've done it one time, you you get the hang of it really fast, so I like to turn it over. I'm right handed so it's easier for me to cut that way. And 
and I also put um, some liquid uh, I, I don't know what it's called right now but to make his nose shiny it's like this liquid kind of makes it moist look looks like it's moist his nose so what you do then you just use your glue pen and you put a little glue on the body the ornament punches his body and if you use this glue instead of the uh, the snail runner or one of the uh, Tombos or those type of glues the wet ones you can still manipulate where you want it and how far down you want the head or you know the antlers or the legs so I like to use wet glue for that the liquid glue because I have a lot more playtime with a lot more playtime with that than I have with the uh, runners, the runners you don't have much of a play time. All right, and I also used a little ink pad. Um, it doesn't matter uh, red or if you like a darker brown or burgundy. And I went around his body a little bit. You can also use the pen um, for that one. So here his little little um, little legs and then you want to snip off a bit of the antlers so they're not as long so you can fit them under his head I'm using the wrong thing and you put a little glue on it and a little glue on that second one as well and um, you can already kind of position them on your paper or whatever work surface you are working on and then attach them all right I think I like them like that Come on. Okay. You don't want to stick. All right. Here, here you go. And then I'm just going to glue his eyes. And I'll give him, with the black, I'll give him a little eyelid. Just so it, you know, looks like he got an eyelid. And you do this with the second one. And a small circle is really tricky. But you can use a needle or um, a pair of scissors or something with a really sharp tip. Alrighty. Now we see where we want his nose. Okay. I put the eyes on first because I always want to see where I would like to have his nose. All right. That's about right. So I like his nose. Come on. Right here. Alright. So now I glue on the eyes. Whoop. Got a little glue on it. That's okay. We can take that off. Now we're going to glue the little parts on. 
Uh, pupils one and the second one and you can play with those two and see if you want him to look up or to the side all right it's almost done he needs a mouth and I use the um, the small tip of the writer and I just make him like a crooked little smile and I go to one side and this looks like really cute and then you can stain them on the outside I did the ears a little bit with the other side of the pen for the card and so to make them stand out so you can play with him and you can, as I did with this one here, I gave him like a shiny nose. I don't know if you can see it. You can make it out. And I also gave him um, uh, a little bit of a confetti, confetti look. I don't know if I zoom in if you can make that out on his nose. So, yeah, just play with him. All made with the stamping up punches. Hope you have fun with him.